All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. It is the DMV Web Talk Talk. Located in Bowie, Maryland, honey. And today we have on a fabulous, this is a um, crochet unit. Can be taken on and off. You don't need any glue for this in most cases. And this is made out of the synthetical hair, okay? Now, normally we don't really endorse the synthetical, but a lot of you, <laughs> I know we had a video talking about throwing synthetic wigs alone, but for some instances, they can actually be good, especially when you're dealing with tight curly, if you want to achieve a tight worn curl. I remember um, a lot of times I have a lot of clients who are trying to achieve tight ringlets like this. However, People do not realize that this type of work done on a full weave takes a long time. And it actually sometimes can take an hour and a half, sometimes even two and a half, two and a half hours for it to fully dry. So that's why, um, you know, we wanted to start doing this look because child, the weave doctor ain't got time to be taking them grandma perm rods, a third, three, three point eighths by an inch. Okay. We ain't got time for all of that. Now, sometimes, <laughs> no, I'm not saying that I won't do it, but, um, and then the, the issue with that, when you're doing the perm rods, a lot of clients, if they do a lot of excess sweating, then all that work goes for naught. You know, especially if you're working out or if you're going through menopause. Oh, girl, you know, you know you're just doing something you had no business doing, okay? <laughs> so anyways, today, we're going to be talking about, um, and oh, and we want to let you know the Weave Doctor's book is going to be coming out, the Eat Healthy, Be Happy um, um, Bible. Is the health Bible is going to be pretty much a, a lot of people, what I'm noticing since I've got my holistic practitioner certification, a lot of people, they are not ready to make a full out commitment, but they want to start going down the right path. And we want to, um, this pretty much, this um, book is going to pretty much be like a, like the blueprint for, uh, for being healthy, for trying to eat healthy, especially for those who do not know anything. And we're going to have some more books coming out, but right now we're going to promote this one first. Okay, so anyways, um, tonight or today, whatever day, whatever time you're watching it, okay? But right now, it's night, okay? Eastern Standard Time, okay? <laughs> so anyways, we're going to be talking about autoimmunity. And pretty much, this is a big issue um, with today. And um, now, I don't know if you guys have known or not, we're going to be partnering with um, some bio... So biochemists, they're going to be, but we're bio, we, we study biochemistry as well, but we're going to be dealing with people who focus on the gut health. And uh, they, they pretty much study all these, all the different type of issues and the different type of, um, you know, all the different type of ailments that can come from, from um, the gut. Okay. So we're focusing on this because one of the main reasons, uh, one of the main causes from alopecia is um inflammation and so anytime that you're having inflammation on your scalp it's coming from the inside and generally you probably are dealing with some type of gut dysbiosis so you you pretty much your gut is unbalanced and these are and some of the conditions a lot of people say i ain't got no autoimmunity <laughs> so any type of um allergies immune disorders skin reactions acne dermatitis um, certain type of diseases like it's, um, lupus, MCS, and like we said earlier, certain forms of hair loss all stem from autoimmunity or you being, or you pretty much going down the path where you could, uh, develop some type of disorder or have a, um, a full out autoimmune, autoimmune disease. Okay. So we're going to be talking about these, um, the four, these are pretty much some of the, the, the top four reasons why people are developing these type of autoimmune type of responses in the body. And if you're dealing with any of these different things, then you need to, at best, at least try to knock two to three out of this cat of all the different categories we're going to be talking about tonight. So the first one is, ge is a genetic predispos predisposition. So a lot of times, you know, we can't change our genes. Some people, they have different sicknesses that have been passed on. And I know a lot of you know that. For example, your great-grandmother might have had cancer. Your, your mother had cancer. Your cousins, your aunts, all are dealing with forms of cancer. Or, for example, high blood pressure. A lot of times, if you're, for example, my, my father, he dealt with um, sugar sensitivity. 
And um, with me, I have sensitivities towards sugar. I really cannot actually tolerate it. And I, <laughs> now that's not what I told myself the other day, but as, as I've been going on my health journey, I have learned how to balance, you know, when to get a treat and when not to have a treat. Okay. So th that's the first thing. If you have a genetic predisposition, these are the things that can cause you to suffer from autoimmune diseases or any type of disorder or just any type of symptoms. Okay, so that's the first thing, and we cannot necessarily change that. So if that's on the list, generally we can't change that. I do know that there are some different vitamins out there or different lifestyles. I know with the mineral balancing program, certain um, practitioners have said that you're able to reverse some of the, um, the bad DNA in your genes. That could be true. There are also, I believe, people who talk about meditation can do that as well as far as helping to reduce stress and kind of um, changing how your body, I guess, creates different cells in the body. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one is gut dysbiosis. And that's what most people are dealing with, especially now with this whole candida. I don't know who's calling on my line. They better, that's my husband's phone. These people keep bothering him because he's doing the play. Paul is not here today. Okay.